The makers of remdesivir, touted as a treatment for COVID-19, are pushing back on a study by the World Health Organization that concluded the medication has little or no effect on patients' recovery times or mortality rates. The drug is manufactured by pharmaceutical giant Gilead Sciences and was recently used to treat US President Donald Trump through his own coronavirus infection. The results come from the WHO's Solidarity Trial, which used over 11,000 adult patients across more than 30 countries. It evaluated four potential drugs, including remdesivir. The WHO findings conflict with data published earlier this month by Gilead. It said a US study comprising of about 1,000 patients showed recovery time could be cut by up to five days, compared with patients who were only given a placebo. Previous studies have also shown it to cut recovery times. Gilead told Reuters, we are concerned the data from this open-label global trial has not undergone the rigorous review required to allow for constructive scientific discussion. Remdesivir was originally developed to treat Ebola and received emergency use authorization from the US Food and Drug Administration back in May. It's since been authorized for use in several countries. The other drugs in the study were hydroxychloroquine, interferon, and a combination of anti-HIV medications, which also did little, according to the WHO.